So you just finished your CSEC and you think you did really well in IT. So you're thinking about doing Cape and you want to choose between Cape Computer Science and Cape Information Technology. That's if you're not doing both of them. But some of you all have a choice to make and you want to know which one is which and what it entails. So I'll tell you, computer science is a lot of math, logic, and how the CPU works and stuff like that. Um, uh, you have plenty of algorithms to do, you have a lot of flowcharts to draw, and then you have code, 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 code. You'll be learning C programming, and C programming is semicolons, arrays, structures, all sorts of different things. And then, guess what? You have more code, more and more code, like searches, sorts, and how to do different algorithms and program them properly. And then you learn a little bit about software development and then the diagrams come in. Diagrams, 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 ERD diagrams, DFD diagrams, all sorts of things. And then you learn a little bit about networking and how the operating system works. And that's basically what computer science is about. IT now, you learn about data and information, business applications, a lot about you know, different types of businesses. You learn about different sources of information, which ones you should trust, which ones you shouldn't trust. And, um, very, very, very baby algorithms, like the algorithms so simple, like CSEC level algorithms you learn. And you learn a little bit about databases, how to structure them, how to store the information, how to make sure it's done properly, and then really, really easy HTML, you don't even learn CSS. And um, then the easy, easy part, which is basically common sense, laws, copyright, malware, health and risk, that part is essentially cake. So those are the two things that you learn. But now you gotta ask yourself, how does your brain work? Because depending on how your brain works, you'll have to choose one of the two if you're not doing both of them. So computer science is for logical people. They're very structured in the way that they think. They are very, very patient with solving problems and they always focus on detail. And one of the key things about a computer science student is that they always believe that a problem has a solution. And if it doesn't have a solution, they'll find it. And most of all, you know how to cry very well because you will cry. IT people, they're very practical. They're very explain, like they explain a lot. They like to write, they like to use examples and a lot of analogies and all these sorts of things. And they also like, you know, think about the real world, how it works when it is in the real world. And they essentially don't care about how things work. They really just care that it does work. A computer science student, however, cares a lot about how things work and they pay um, lots of attention to that. So the next thing now you have to worry about is um, jobs in like, what kind of jobs you will get. Computer science people, they usually get jobs like writing software, like being a software developer. They try to get into apps and like games and stuff like that. Um, now this is in the Caribbean, I just remember, in the Caribbean. You do a lot of back-end web development, which is like, you know, databases in the background. You configure systems really, really well because you understand how it works and you, you do a lot of database administrator stuff when you learn SQL and like JavaScript and whatnot. And it, computer science is generally a kind of hustler, entrepreneurship kind of vibes, right? IT uh, is a more straightforward one. You get technicians, network admin, system admin, because you understand how things work and you just kind of put things in place. You do a little bit of project management and you're just more likely the techie guy or techie girl because you know a lot about everything about IT and how it works. And usually after about 10 years, you could become like a consultant with all the information that you have. And uh, the biggest thing now <laughs> is you think you'll be cool because you know IT, right? Because everybody thinks that IT is like the greatest thing ever. And uh, you think you'll be cool when you learn it? Well, yes, as a CS um, graduate, you'll be cool to young people. As an IT graduate, you'll be cool to your family because your family will always be like, fix this, please. Check this for me now, please. Or can you fix this? I don't know. And then every time you go to a family gathering, they'll keep asking you to fix the WhatsApp on their phone. For computer science, the biggest question is, can you hack? And then they'll be like, can you make a game? And then the next young person can be like, so can you really hack? hack this person's Instagram account for me now, and all that stuff. So that's basically what you're going to walk into. If you have any further questions, you could ask in the comments here. Oh, I forgot to tell you. These are jobs in the Caribbean as of 2020, right? As of 2020, because IT changes almost every year, so new jobs are always created. 
So if you have questions, ask in the comments. This is the number one most asked question that I get every time on Instagram. So anytime anybody asks this question again, I'll go directly to this video. At Make It Simple TT, that's me, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. As Mr. Charles, you're welcome.